Hello recruits, Mark here again. I wanted to make this video to show you how does the caster gear works and how does the actual gameplay looks like because it's kind of complicated with videos. Uh, but the, the idea here is that I'm gonna start recording my phone, I'm gonna put it in the headset and you will see what I'm actually looking at. And I'm gonna start uh, telling you at the same time with my voice what is happening so you can see the actual pre-alpha gameplay. The first thing I wanted to show you is the headset and the phone and how do they work. So the idea is very simple. You have the headset here, you will place your phone right here and then you will place the headset on over your head this way, really quick, really stable, you can run, you can do a lot of stuff. And one very important thing is that you're not going to see through the camera. Here is the phone, but my eyes are right here. I'm actually gonna see like to the real life but with this glass over here we will project the augmented reality with all the user interface for you to interact with it in game the next thing of course is your epan this whole thing it's called the caster gear and with your epan uh, you will actually cast your power archive make me, making actual movements. So remember, precision speed is everything. One of the things that I wanted to explain is the user interface. So in the right corner, you can see the power archives you decided to wield before battle. In the middle, you will have your HP and the universal particles. And in the top, in the middle, all the information about the match you need to know. And in the left, you will find all your stats, uh, information about your teammates, and all the stuff you need to actually play. So right now, I'm gonna start running so you can see how this works. This is perfectly stable, and it's meant to be this way because this is a sport. Let's talk about casting. So remember, the Epon will detect your movements. Buttons are for navigation menus only. So in order to make them work, you need to cast the casting pattern of each power archive. The idea is, for example, this one, you will go left and then you will go right. If the pattern is correct, you will see a green line like this and then I can throw it just like this. But if your casting pattern is not correct, well, you will get this notification telling you, well, you are not as good as you thought you were. You can always have a tip right here or like this one, so you can remember it. Now I want to talk about the basic attack. This is the weakest of the game, but it's really helpful sometimes. So the main idea is that you're gonna need to throw your power, no buttons, remember, just throw it this way. Naturally, if you don't do the exact movement, this won't work. I want to talk about defense. So defense is kind of an advanced mechanic, but I wanted to show it to you. Uh, defense in the bone works like this. If you are looking to the person that it's hitting you, you will actually see the power, the superpower coming to attack you. If you are looking anywhere else, you will not see it. Either way, you will have a notification in your headset telling you that there's an incoming attack. Well, the idea is that if you're looking straight to the power, you will suddenly find these arrows, like up, left, right, and down. Well, if you have the correct timing and you do the precise movement, left, right, depending, when the superpower is coming, well, then you will parry or get some kind of defense. I think it's obvious, but accuracy in the bone is probably the most important mechanic. It doesn't matter if you're great, like you have great casting techniques and defense techniques. If you just can't hit your enemy, well, you're probably gonna lose. So the idea of accuracy is pretty simple. You need to see the top of the weapon, point it to your enemy at the perfect movement of casting. Uh, 
it can be as easy or as difficult depending on, the, on your training. Basic attack, power archives, everything needs security. If you want to hit an enemy, needs security. If you want to hit an ally with a healing power archive, for example, you must have perfect accuracy. What you're looking right now is a Nerea, or in Spanish, Nerea. The idea of this thing is that you can use it as a bot to train, or you can actually train with your friends online across the world because they will represent one of them and you will fight them against each other. So going outside to play with others is not required every time because you can fight with bots or you can fight with friends. At last, but not least, real life combat. The most amazing thing you can do in the bone. The idea is that you will find any kind of location you like and you will fight against other players. You can fight three versus three, five versus five, uh, free for all, everyone kind of Hunger Games style. Right now we're testing a lot of game modes. We have, haven't yet decided the definitely one, but we know that with your help on Kickstarter and giving out a lot of these babies, well, uh, we will start understanding which one is the best move